18th of March. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is uh, where I am now. It's at the Orchard Road, right? Uh, outside. I'll take you away. You can see. Uh. So now it's uh, 3 o'clock on 18th of March 2020, Singapore Orchard Road. Uh, I'm just feeling lazy, so I come out for a walk. Uh. Then I want to show you how is it like today uh, with, with the presence, with the happening of coronavirus. Uh, you know, life in Singapore is generally the locals and the poorly, the more people on the streets. So, come, let me show you. And oh, take a uh, there are a few pointers. Is that actually uh, just a couple of hours ago, about like 15 hours ago, at midnight, uh, Malaysia shut off its borders. So, that oh, means yeah. Yeah, the causeway that links to Singapore is totally empty. So no Malaysians are allowed to come out of Singapore and uh, nobody's supposed to go in or so. No, just it's okay. We just do it this way. Okay, okay, so just take a look around Orchard Road. We'll see how many people are wearing masks, uh, see the situation, whether life is as per normal. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So literally the whole causeway as of today we have got a picture, right? That shows the whole causeway empty, literally no no one person knows in the car. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this way. Uh. Oh, you want to walk in the mall? We're going the direction of uh, or go back in the mall, huh? Uh, so we're, we're going from Orchard Gateway and we're heading all the way back to Ion. <coughs> uh, so our office is actually located at uh, close to Ion, so we're heading back to office. We just had a lunch, had our lunch. And Billy will show you around. I guess it's still quite hot outside to me. Uh, so most people are staying inside the mall. <laughs> There's more cooling. Really quite, quite a good number of uh, uh, shoppers. Because especially now also the school holidays just started, right? And uh, also the travel restrictions have come in so hard. I guess so everyone is just staying put. This is not true after all, so everyone or most people will want to come here and you know, hang out with friends, spend their holidays. Okay. Okay, I'll focus on. I'll focus on walking forward. So, actually, generally, I think. I don't even see like, oh, I only see like one person out. So, okay, the Malaysian ringgit right now is uh, 3.03. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so these are the. So I see like two people wearing masks now. Oh, yeah. Three people. Out of like a whole lot of people. So Singapore, we, we also have a bit of like a, you know, small panic la. A couple of days back when people start buying off the shelf again. Uh, but then again, it's kind of contradictory because we, we, we see that a lot of people are not wearing masks on, on, the, on the busier streets in Singapore. Another, So the restaurant we went earlier, um, uh, it actually has quite a good decent number of uh, patrons also. I think maybe it was a promo. Uh. Uh, there was a there was a there was a slight promo that took place. I mean, we didn't know. We just went there and realized there was a promo. So I think most uh, restaurants, uh, you know, F and B businesses, they are they are offering any bit of promos they can they can do they can find they will try uh, just to win some business oh that's true actually on the streets it's a lot quieter
So, uh, we're actually missing two of our guys. <laughs> they went somewhere. And it's interesting to note that uh, since the uh, travel restrictions have kicked in, there's a noticeable there's a noticeable drop in uh, foreign tourists, and generally whoever you see on the street, they are generally either Singaporeans or Singapore residents. So it's uh, significantly quiet. So this portion of Orchard Road uh, is supposed to be remarkably busy. Uh, generally, if there are tourists, then you know uh, there will be a lot, a lot more people here. And okay, so we're headed to where again? Uh, we we'll in the direction of uh, Forum Forum. The Far East shopping center that that that. Okay. okay, so we're headed towards Ion. Ion, uh, Ion area. Then, um, actually, generally, everyone on the street is not wearing. They're not wearing but, but, masks. But I also realize we, among ourselves, we also like kind of stop wearing masks. So, so I mean, I would I would take I will still wear the mask when I'm on the train now. Because it's still, I, I believe it's more like an enclosed air conditioned area that has uh, some concern. But if you're out in the open like this with our heat, with our weather, uh, again, this is just my speculation. Uh, because in, in Europe and all the, the other Western countries, right, they are much colder. Uh, the virus probably survived longer on the outside. Uh, yeah, so for once, I want to thank. Uh, our government for our good weather. Actually, our government doesn't come up with the weather. It just so happens hey, no, that we. No, but they come up with a lot of things that we forgot to thank them. So I might as well just oh, okay, include okay. the weather, lah. Yeah, no. Okay. So we know. Uh, we know <laughs> Willie's vote at the upcoming election. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, if there are fewer foreigners or fewer imported cases, like. Yesterday there were 23 and out of these 23 there were 17 imported cases. If you remove the imported cases then the trans uh, the locally transmitted cases are only like 6. And after a while they can actually link most of these cases back to current cases. So most of the cases in Singapore are actually imported. That means people actually bring the virus back from overseas and back into Singapore. Yeah, so this is one of the key points. But you don't see many people wearing masks on the street actually. Yeah. I guess uh, it also comes down to how the media uh, presents itself. Lah. Yeah, because, because just when it started, we were advised by our government not to wear masks. As in, only if you are sick. Lah. But I guess the big picture it was a right move ah. okay so we definitely know how Willie is going to vote at the upcoming elections <laughs> okay let's walk inside okay. there's some droplets yeah it's about to rain I think life in general, uh, it's a lot slower here. A lot of people are affected. Uh, businesses are doing pretty badly, but generally life has to go on. And it's quite fortunate that we're living in Singapore where everything is as per normal, almost. Not everything actually, but almost as per normal. So we can still travel actually, right? Yeah, Technically, you can still can travel. Still travel huh? It's just that we have to. Uh... <laughs> but we gotta see who who is willing to allow us to go into that country. Oh, 
And when you enter into shopping malls, I don't think there's a there's a person taking out temperature. Maybe when you go into the office spaces, yeah. then you will have. Okay, so. Okay. Because when I when I visited uh, our MBFC uh, this period of time, right, a lot of entrance, a lot of access doors are locked. So they only allow you like one access, and then at that only one access, they will have someone stationed with uh, temperature camera uh, to check for any high high temperature uh, individuals. Uh. But over here, yeah, we don't see. I mean, access is still very easy. Every door is apparently open and free for access. There's nobody there. So maybe I mean they were saying like transcend transient uh, contact is very unlikely, very minimal possibility of infection. Uh. So if someone walk past me who is infected, yeah, there's very 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 slim chance. Uh, I will be infected. Yeah. Unless it's like in a, like Daryl just said in an office setting, because you are sitting uh, over a period of time with someone, a colleague, a boss, you know, uh, uh, even your pantry auntie, you know, if you come into a constant proximity for a period of time, then yes, the risk will be likely to be much higher than just walking past someone. It's ready. Actually, it's relatively crowded. But if you ask me, between walking through uh, aircon corridors or the outside area, I think still today prefer to walk outside. Unless it's heavy rain, uh, raining heavy outside. But yeah, it puts my mind at ease that because the outer, the, the, the outside the open area, you know, there there is less possibility lah. Okay, so this is smart Asia. It's actually quite close, so you can just navigate through from one train station to the other. It's linked all the way underground. Almost or almost. So it wasn't too long actually from uh, from Orchard Gateway all the way to Miss My Asia. It's about 13 minutes. And we did, and we actually took some detours, did some uh, introduction. So I think it took like slightly more than ten minutes. Usually, this walkway in the evening is is really packed. Uh, you don't you don't even have you don't get to decide how fast you want to walk. It's okay. like packed sometimes. Yeah. So, but now it's about three 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 fifteen, right? Yeah. Three twenty. Yep. Like I said, because it's a school holiday, so there's uh, so a lot of young, uh, you know, young adults. Um, young adults. Yeah. Young adults. Yeah. Students, students. Students. Students and young adults. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very near the train station, maybe. So it's a promotion. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, just show it. <laughs> oh, two medium tubs for ten dollars. And the Wisma branch, Lao Lao. So is it Lao Lao or Yao Yao? It's Yao Yao, but I like to read it as Lao Lao. Oh, okay. We take people who read it as Yao Yao. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Like socks. Yeah. 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 So now since it's a good time for promotion, right? I suggest uh, our viewers, our our followers, right, to go and check out some of the gym packages. Okay. Yeah. Check out with them and say, you know, what's the promotion they can offer you. So are you going to check out the gym packages? No, it's like, you can you can enjoy uh, cheaper rates and get fit at the same time. Because when your immune system, when you exercise, right, your immune system gets stronger. You protect yourself, you know. In a okay. very productive way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, this is Orchard MRT. You walk towards. Uh, you walk towards tanks. Reports that it's raining outside. See, <laughs> there's like seriously, there's like less than 10% of people wearing masks. Way below now. I think it's way below that. Yeah, I think it's way below 10%. Like maybe under 5%. Yeah. I'm quite sure there are like 20 people here, then maybe one is wearing a mask. I've never seen an optical shop like this before. It's not really a experience. Yeah. So it's a bit different when I was in Taiwan or uh, I was in Taipei and Bangkok. I think last month, within the last month, then uh, everyone was, I mean there were large numbers of people wearing masks. Thanks, so right. Merit thanks. And we'll cross over to Shaw. We're just in the vicinity of Orchard Road. And if anyone is watching from overseas, uh, Orchard Road is actually the main shopping belt in Singapore. It's currently the school holidays. And if you would like to take that into consideration, then perhaps you could perhaps discount like 20 to 30 percent of the crowd if it were a normal school day. Actually, we can go to Scots and see the fair price. We should go to Scots. Oh, yeah. No, never. Yeah, so there's like a fair price here. Okay, I don't know whether it's raining. So you want to make a guess what is the item that you will not be able to buy? Uh, toilet paper. Sure, that is your guess? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, but it's actually raining, so we can't go to... Kind of won't head over the Scots. Yeah. yeah. So it's a classic example of Singapore's weather. So one moment <laughs> it was very hot, then the next moment it's raining. Yeah. Our allies are trapped at another place. Yeah. So we're heading back. So it's currently raining. Pretty heavy actually. It's getting heavier. Generally, life is just per normal. Yeah, but good thing in Singapore is we have a lot of underground walkways. Uh. We, oh yeah. We can, we can get drenched uh, in a short, short walk. If it's not a super heavy rain, we are still pretty much covered. Okay. Well, thanks to our government again. This is not something we built. 
Monday. Seriously, like election is coming, but I already know no, this which is way not, really is going to. Our go video, on. video is purely on a lazy afternoon. You can hear that we also quite lazy just after our daily lunch. So we have no agenda whatsoever. We just want to share uh, how lazy an afternoon at three o'clock in Singapore is. We should have to get back to office to do some work. <laughs> okay, we go here this way, this way. So food is everywhere in Singapore, even when it rains. Really nothing to worry about. Yeah. Because I feel like getting a coffee. You want one? Kind of so. Uh, maybe not coffee, uh, like a soy milk or something. <laughs> you want the upstairs one? Yeah, maybe later. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll end, we'll end here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's all. So, see you in the next video. Huh? Yeah, and come to Singapore. <laughs> okay. okay, see you guys. Bye.